So yeah, it was just nice to actually get to a car boot sale and find games that I actually wanted to buy. So here we are back on another gaming grabs video and first stop was in Berry. stopped in Bob and Burt's for a bit of breakfast, nice cup of tea before we headed out for another game hunt. First up was Cast Generator, quite a few PlayStation 1 games in here, Duke Nukem Land of the Babes for $4.99, not a game you see around that much. Final Fantasy Anthology as well. $32.99 which is just below the sort of going rate for that. I was quite tempted. It was in quite good condition too. Simpsons Wrestling which is a terrible game. $4.99. Again you don't see it around that often but it wasn't complete. Didn't have a manual. Really battered. Into CEX and first up had a quick look at the PSP games. Cover reprint there. Gradius Collection on the PSP. £35. I do like Gradius and this is a great little set. Um, I did leave it, but it's one that's on my radar. Over to the PlayStation 2 section. Not loads in here. Nice copy of Dark Cloud there, £18. Great game. Godzilla there as well. Quite popular at the moment, obviously with the new Godzilla film and Godzilla Minus One out as well. Maximo, Army of Zin, that's a great game. £8, PlayStation 2, obviously. Suffering as well, that's a classic game. Road Rage, but we'll talk about that one later on. Bombad Racing as well, just bought that. Typical, I should spot a copy of it in CEX. The Armored Core game, that's come down again, now £15. I was nearly tempted by Tenchu, Wrath of the something. I can't remember what it's called. Over on the Xbox original section, quite a few decent games here actually. Silent Hill The Room as well. £20, that's not too bad, that seems quite cheap, possibly gone down in price. Stubbs the Zombie, 15 and Voodoo Vince for 10 Two games that I did used to have. Glass Cabinet of Dreams, some nice games in here. A copy of Star Fox Assault there. Nice PlayStation 1 games too, Legacy of Kane there. He actually had two copies of unboxed Goman just there. Goman 2 goes for, was it £80? And June on the Mega Drive, that's bumped up in price recently because of the films, £101. It's a battered copy of Batman Arkham Origins Steelbook, but for £18 on 360, that seemed really expensive really. Not much caught my eye here, but I did spot this game which I'd never seen before. Heavy Fire, Shattered Spear, On Rail Shooter. But yeah, there wasn't loads more that really caught my eye in the 360 section again. Silent Hill Homecoming there for £20, and Spec Ops The Line for £25, which has just gone up in price over the last month or so. And this was unusual, uh, the Knife Angel, um, tackling knife crime, I think we had it in Bolton at one point as well, quite sort of spectacular to see actually. So welcome back to the games room, thanks for pressing play once again as ever if you're not already subscribed to the channel if you can hit the subscription button that would be very much appreciated. So yeah that was a bit of footage from out and about over the last week uh, picking up games, we went to Bury and uh, been to a couple of other places um, and I also have bought a few PlayStation 5 games which if you're on my Instagram account if you follow me on there you probably will have seen those but I am not going to do those on this video I'm going to save those for a midweek shorter game and grabs video uh, later on in the week um, but yeah I have picked up some decent games uh, over the course of this week which I will go over now so yeah um, the first lot were from uh, sort of Berry. we went to Berry, um, CEX, uh, Cash Converters 
and a couple of other places in between uh, and also a brand new charity shop which is opened not too far from me so i'll go straight into the games let's get into them so the first one i've picked up so yeah i've never seen this game before again i think i said it on my last grabs video that sometimes it's just nice when you sort of see a game out there that you've never heard of before you've never seen around before and it just takes you by surprise so i've managed to do that again this week uh, with this game i've never heard of it never played it never seen it um, and it is called heavy fire shattered spear so it's five pounds it was from cex this is actually my only cex purchase this week um xbox 360 yeah never heard of this um just saw it on the shelf uh, picked it up and had a quick look and straight away I noticed on the front cover it says uh, an explosive adrenaline pumping on rails shooter so it was the last three words that sort of caught my attention on rails shooter I do like uh, those sort of games I do prefer them on the Wii and um, but I'm interested to see what this is like um yeah it's five pounds possibly is that overpriced i don't know but certainly when i looked on the cex app there's only three other copies of this in cex's across the uk um which sort of prompted me then to think yeah i'm gonna grab that because i'm more than likely never gonna see it again so um yeah interesting one heavy fire shattered spear interesting <laughs> So yeah, that was my only CEX purchase this week, which is possibly a little bit unusual. Um, but I picked up another three games from Cash Converters. And the first one is on the PlayStation 4, and it's Star Wars Jedi Knight Collection. So that includes Jedi Knight 2, Jedi Outcast, and Jedi Knight Jedi Academy. So that was $7.99, uh, which sounds a little bit pricey, but when you consider at CEX at the moment, they sell that for £12. Um, I didn't think that was too bad a pickup. One of the most boring boxes you've ever seen, though. It's the most uninspired sort of case you, you could think of. Nothing on the back, really, other than text. Um, but, you know, uh, disc is in great condition. So, yeah, for $7.99, that's not a bad pickup at all. Uh, next one is Batman 2, or Lego Batman 2 DC Super Heroes. Um, yeah, I'm not a massive Lego game fan particularly and um, but i do like the nintendo 3ds i am loving collecting for that console this was only 1.99 cex are currently selling it for three pounds um but yeah it was on the shelf saw it and thought for two quid let's grab that um it's in nice condition to be fair not played it yet um fairly standard sort of lego game though i would imagine and then next up um again cash converters uh nintendo 3ds sonic generations now I really love Sonic Generations. I think it's an amazing game. I've got it on the PlayStation 3. Have I got the Xbox 360 version? No, I don't think I do, but I have got the PlayStation 3 version. Um, yeah, I love Sonic Generations. I think it was uh, a fantastic, fantastic game. Uh, fantastic sort of return to form for Sonic as well. Um, and uh, yeah, 3DS version, I have given it a go. And it's very, very similar actually to the PlayStation 3 version. So quite impressed with it. Nice and complete, nice condition. Uh, 5 99 I thought that wasn't a bad price. Again, so CEX price for that normally is about £10. So, you know, four quid off that. Um, yeah, happy to grab that one. Now, the next one is a bit of a weird one because... Um, it's a box only. I was a bit unsure whether to include this on the video or not, but I thought, well, I will do. Um, and you may have no, sort of seen in the footage uh, of when it was in Bury Town Centre. And it's a shop that I've walked past tons of times, um, but never actually looked in. Um, I can't remember the name of the shop, um, but when I sort of went a little bit closer to it and noticed what was in the window, um, I had to have a quick look at it and, and have a look inside the shop itself. So in the window, it was just full of, uh, well, sort of on the left-hand side of the shop, full of games, um, all really badly sort of um, sun damaged. Um, so all the box arts, on most of them were faded. Um, but when you sort of peered through the window, you could see a ton of other games. So, um, yeah, it was only a small shop um, and I did decide to go in. <laughs> Again, you, you open the door and it was just literally stuff everywhere. I, I've sort of seen it occasionally with like in bookstores and that sort of thing where stuff is just piled up high. Um, it would be practically impossible to go through uh, and search through everything, but you could just sort of see what was in front of you. Um, and there was a lot of fodder in there, to be fair. A lot of sort of PlayStation 2 games and 
um you know just just a mix of everything but dvds were in there as well and um, it's very sort of sm very tight in there so that's why i'd not didn't take any footage of inside the shop and um, there were other people in there so it just didn't feel right to, to film um but i'd spent that long sort of browsing that i felt like maybe i need to find something to buy at least and this was just sort of sat on top of the pile and it was very clearly marked that it was a case only there was no disc in it and it's a PlayStation 3 game, Hellboy, The Science of Evil. And it was 50p. Um, so at that price, I felt like, yeah, if you're going to get something, why don't you just grab that? Um, so I am now sort of on the lookout for maybe a copy of the disc for that. Um, don't know a huge amount about that game. I don't think it got great reviews when it came out, but it is a Konami game. Um, but um, yeah, I don't think it got great reviews. But if I can find the disc cheap... Uh, you know, getting the, the disc on its own uh, and in the case for 50p. Um, this goes for £10 in CEX at the moment. So, you know, if I could get it for three or four quid, maybe the disc on itself. Um, again, that's not, that might be, that might prove to be a decent purchase in the end. Um, but yeah, just, just saw it there and thought I'll have to grab that. So that was the stuff from Berry. Um, what I have done also this week was we've got a new charity shop open up on the sort of retail park, which is something that's quite sort of new now. And you're starting to see, uh, you know, quite a few of these popping up sort of like the retail parks, um, are now giving, not giving, but uh, renting out the, uh, some of the bigger units to charity shops. So a lot of them will have, um, furniture in them and, and that sort of thing. Um, we've got one on, on ours, the, the local one, which is near the football ground, Bolton's ground. Um, and it's, I think it opened on Wednesday and there were queues and queues of people. So I didn't go then, but I, I went on a, a couple of days later uh, and was quite, quite sort of quite impressed with it actually. Um, and yeah, it was just furniture, a lot of clothes, but it was huge. I just couldn't believe how big it was, but it did have a little corner full of DVDs and it did have a little pile of games. Um, they're all sort of relatively, you know, the usual kind of charity shop fodder. There's one or two games in there that sort of caught my eye as well. Black was on there for PlayStation 2. Um, I think Cell Overdrive was in there. Uh, and there was this one, which I did pick up. All the games were marked up at 199 as well, which in the current market is not too bad, I don't think. Obviously, you'd like them at 99p, but I think those days are long gone. Um, but 199 um, didn't seem too bad. All the games were in really good condition as well, to be fair. Um, but I did spot this one and thought I'll grab it. And it is SX, SSX3. Another snowboarding game. Yep. Uh, PlayStation 2, like I say, 199 But it's really nice condition. Nice and complete. Manual's all good. Um, so yeah, that was a nice little spot. Uh, I haven't got that one. So I did grab that. And then just a, a disclaimer. These aren't games, um, but saw them and they were only a pound each and I couldn't really leave them uh, in the shop. I had to pick them up. So I do like my wrestling um, and uh, saw these, you know, it's wrestling, and it's a steel book. I had to pick them up. So I picked three of them up um, and it is a Survivor Series 2008 uh, steel book. Really nice condition again, a pound. Survivor Series 2007 with Edge on the front, again, one pound. And Survivor Series 2009, I've not done them in the right order, but it doesn't really matter, does it? Uh, with uh, DX, or the later version of DX on the front, Triple H and Shawn Michaels. Um, yeah, a pound each. Steel books. Um, yeah, had to pick them up. Especially now WWE Network in the UK, anyway, is not quite as good as it used to be. Um, it's not really worth subscribing to. Um, Picking up these sort of DVDs or even Blu-rays if you can find them cheap, um, it's quite you know, it's becoming sort of a bit more appealing to do now. So, yeah, pick those up for three pounds. So they were three charity shop finds, which I've not had for a while actually. So next up was a quick trip to the car boot sale, uh, the usual car boot sale uh, in Bolton, next to Bolton Wanderers Ground. Let's have a quick look at what I saw at the car boot sale. Good morning. So we're at the car boot sale today weather has not been great so I think that's affected how many sellers have actually turned up today but as I always say you never know so let's go and take a look and see what we can find 
So car boot sale done. Um, I was right, there weren't too many sellers there today. Um, but there was one guy who was selling quite a big collection. PlayStation 2, PlayStation 3, 360. He actually had some SNES stuff, um, but it was in not great condition, so I didn't pick any of that up. Um, but yeah, I did pick up a few games from him. Had some really nice games, so I'll go over those and show you them back in the games room. So that was a very quick look at um, the morning uh, I had at the car boot sale. I wasn't there that long. Like I said, there, there wasn't that many sellers there. The weather was pretty terrible. Um, although it wasn't raining at that point, but it had been terrible. So it put a lot of people off. Um, so I wasn't expecting much because I've not had a huge amount of luck over the last few weeks with car boot sales, probably since they restarted or since this one restarted. I had a massive amount of luck. Um, not found a huge amount of, of games that I haven't got or that I want. Um, but this time it came up trumps. Um, mainly from one sort of seller um, that was selling quite a big, uh, obviously sort of a collection of his. Um, but he was selling it all at sort of pretty reasonable prices as well. I did pick up one game that didn't come from him, uh, and that was a copy of Crackdown 2 on the play and the Xbox 360. Um, did pay five pound for that, which possibly is a little bit more than what you would expect to pay. I mean, the Crackdown Bog Standard Edition is one pound in CEX, but um, I've never seen this as a steelbook ever, and it's a really nice steelbook actually, really nice condition, nice and complete. Um, so at five pounds. Yeah, possibly a bit of a stretch, um, but like I say, really nice condition. I I rarely, I don't think I've ever seen this as a steel book. Um, so yeah, I, I saw that. I wanted to pick it up and did. So that was a nice grab, another steel book. And then all of these came from the same guy. Um, no, actually, I'll show you this one first. This was from just some random guy who was selling a few PlayStation games. There was actually a box full of PlayStation One games, a lot of football games. Um, I was looking for some, maybe for some spare boxes. He wanted a pound for each of them, for, or for everything that was in the box. Um, but there wasn't a lot there, but I did spend quite a bit of time sifting through the box. Um, um, but yeah, there was just no PlayStation 1 boxes worth sort of picking up. But I did see this game. Uh, I've never played it before, I haven't got it. Um, and just, you know, for a pound I thought, well, I'll grab it. It's the Sniper 2 on PlayStation 2. Um, yeah. Not, don't know much about that. I think it's about a pound at CEX at the moment as well. So, you know, um, yeah, we'll see what that one's like. And then these three were all from the same guy that I took most of the footage from. <clears throat> um, yeah, he had some really decent games, actually. Um, one or two that possibly... Now I'm sort of looking back, I'm sort of thinking, maybe I should have found out how much that one was, maybe, you know, picked up. I was very tempted by the Tiny Toons uh, game on the Mega Drive, um, but did decide to leave that. I actually went back to him three times because I sort of, you know, like you do, you sort of process in your head, can I afford that one? Shall I grab that? How much does he want for it? So I did go back once, you know, a couple of times to, to, to pick up uh, three different games. Um, so one, or well, the first one, was PlayStation 2, The Simpsons Road Rage. He wanted £3 for that. Uh, really nice condition again. Really nice clean manual, really clean disc. Uh, £3 for that, not bad at all, because that is currently a £12 game in uh, CEX. So, yeah, that was a nice little grab. And then, arguably, this is probably my favourite one. Possibly the most value for money anyway. Um... I think this was the first one I picked up off him, actually. Um, it is on the PlayStation, and it's Wipeout 3. Now, this is in 
really nice, excellent condition. The box is, you know, in really good nick. Um, I paid £15 for this. He wanted £15. He did check it on CEX because he didn't have these sort of priced up individually. I know that one was, but these were sort of on the top, you know, kept to one side because obviously he knew maybe they had a bit more value to them. Um, but he'd not priced this one up. He must have checked eBay possibly or CEX. Um, and he said £15 for that. Uh, which seemed quite cheap for Wipeout 3. I know the special edition goes for a lot, lot more. Um, but yeah, £15 for this. With the added bonus of it came with a little green memory card, which um, he said, you know, that's yeah, that can go with it. That's absolutely fine. He didn't want any extra for that. So £15 for that in immaculate condition. I'll just drop the memory card. Um, nice manual as well. So it is complete disc. So yeah, £15. I haven't got it, haven't played this one actually, but I do like Wipeout. CEX at the moment sell uh, sell this for 20. So they, they, they try to get 20 for it. Um, a really mint copy, which I don't think this is that far off to be quite honest, actually is 30 pounds as well. So I think that's a really decent, you know, really decent buy for that price with the memory card as well, hoping that it still works. Um, yeah, I think that's a, a decent pickup that one. Really happy to add that in. And yeah, it's just finally sort of made going to the car boot sales worth it for me. It's kind of reignited my my uh, my uh, sort of drive to go to the, the car boot sales because, like I always say, you never know. And that was the same with this game as well. So, um, this is a series that I've played the first three games, um, but never never played any of the other games, not touched them since. Uh, it's a very expensive series these days. I think this is probably one of the cheaper ones. Possibly not, I think Silent Hill 4 might be a little bit cheaper actually. Um, but when the, when I've seen this in CEX anyway, um, it's usually with a cover reprint cover, so it's not worth picking up. Um, and the game is Silent Hill Homecoming on the PlayStation 3. So again, really good condition, nice and complete, really nice and uh, clean disc. Instruction book is really uh, in good condition as well. Um, originally, the guy wanted £20 for that, but he said, I think because I'd bought a couple, the other two, uh, he said he'd, he'd sell it to me for £17, um, which felt like a really decent deal, actually. Um, CEX sell it for £22, so a fiver off, I thought, yeah, let's grab that. I don't think it's one of the better Silent Hill games. In fact, I know it's not one of the better sort of Silent Hill games. Um, but like I say, I've I've sort of not played the series since Silent Hill 3. Um, so I just sort of fancied maybe diving back into it a little bit and, and seeing what this one was like. And this was sort of the cheapest option um, to do that. So yeah, Silent Hill Homecoming. Um, not a game I've ever particularly seen on the car boot sale before particularly. Um, same with Wipeout 3, I mean, like I said before, where or how often on a car boot sale would you find a copy of that in such really you know, decent condition? Um, so I felt like I've come away from that car boot sale this week uh, really happy. Um, and yeah, Silent Hill Homecoming just topped that off. So those were the gaming grabs for this week. And like I said before, I did pick up a few PlayStation 5 games this week as well. Um, but I don't want to show those on this video. I'm going to do a separate video for those, um, which I will put out midweek. So keep your eyes out for that. All I will say is that one of those buys is probably the best buy in terms of sort of how much I've paid for it. Um, I've had for a while. <laughs> it's an absolute bargain, but you'll have to wait to the next video for that one. So I hope you will join me for that one. I hope you've enjoyed this video as well. If you're not already subscribed to the channel, if you can hit the subscription button, if you can give the uh, video a, a, a thumbs up as well, that would be very much appreciated. Um, thanks for watching and I will see you all on the next one. Thanks guys.